Hey everybody, so I filmed this once before and I didn't have my mic on, which I don't know either, but I'm on my phone, so hopefully the audio is better. My dog died, Harry died, so I haven't been feeling up to making videos or really having the energy to get ready for videos, but uh, I'm ready for work. Actually, I just got home from work and now I'm sick. So uh, not in the best form for videos, but I'm getting really backlogged in what I wanted to get out to you guys. So I'm just gonna push through it, get this video done and out to you guys. So I got my 13th annual Beauty Awards new beauty box. And I thought I would do the unboxing with you guys. I actually, since I did this video once already, I did go through it once and um, I did give one of the, there was a Lumify, there was Lumify eye drops and I did give those away already. If you don't know what New Beauty is, New Beauty, it's Beauty Pass by New Beauty and you get like the best of um, whatever New Beauty nominated as being like the best of beauty products for, for 2023. They create this collection and then they do like this live unboxing on YouTube. It's like this beauty pass unboxing, but regardless for like $250, you get like over a thousand dollars worth of product. Downside is you don't really know what you're getting until you get it, but usually the products have been pretty good. This is my third beauty pass box that I have purchased. I'm actually behind in getting the other one edited and out to you. That was the time capsule. Let's just get into it. So this is the New Beauty 2023 Beauty Pass Beauty Awards winner 13th annual box. So let's get into it. So this is the quintessential poster that comes with the 13th annual Beauty Awards. And let's do the unboxing, shall we? So we have the Soiree Non-Alcoholic Sparkling Mocktail, Tejito, Watermelon, basil, chamomile, mint. This is alcohol free, vegan, gluten free, naturally flavored. So on the um, unboxing live that they did, obviously they have this in their champagne glasses versus champagne. So a little bubbly, start off the evening. Then we got eight greens, dietary supplement. Um, each tablet contains as much as uh, vitamin six as six cups of spinach, six oranges, 15 cups of broccoli, seven cups of milk, three cups of peas. I've never tried these, but obviously sound like they would be very good for me. So we'll give those a whirl. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Advanced Repair Barrier Cream. So this will be great for me come winter. Necessaire, the sunscreen, mineral SPF 30. I need to be much better about putting on sunscreen, but this is for face and body, so that'll be great. Face, I tend to, um, my eyes are super sensitive when it comes to SPF, but constantly trying to find a good one for that. On that same note, we have Elta MD UV Clear Bots Broad Spectrum SPF 46. I actually just bought one of these for my mom, but um, my sister is a dermatologist and she, recommends Elta MD a lot to her for sunscreen. So it says skin types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. It also is oily free. So great product there. Then we have Wander Beauty. This is kind of a smashed box, but I've tried these before and they are great, but Wander Beauty baggage claim gold eye masks. So um, six pairs in there. So that's fun. I've never heard of this. Journey Firm Revitalizing Refining Day Cream. Again, with that SPF of 30. So that will be fun to try. Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. Medical grade rapid action for visible blemishes. Luckily, I don't get too many pimples these days, but I do get one every once in a while. So we'll give those a whirl. Diamond Kaplan MD Diamond Contour Supercharged One Minute Daily Facial. This is kind of cool. It contains crushed diamonds. So that will be fun to try. 
a one minute facial exfoliating facial, of course, with those papaya and um, pineapple enzymes. Then we have Obagi Elastoderm Neck and Decollete Concentrate. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get signs of aging on my neck, so that will be great product to try. Then we have EWC Treat Ingrown Hair Serum. So for those nether regions, this will also be a good product to try to prevent ingrown hairs. Then we have another uh, dietary supplement. This is Lipospheric Vitamin C. 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. 1,000 milligrams of essential phospholipids. And a good source of calling. So we'll try those. A lot of dietary supplements in this one. Uh, Glow Skin Beauty Bio Renew EGF Cream. So this is your fetal retinol cell repairing moisturizer. Snow, I've heard a lot about these products. They're teeth whitening strips. Um, so this will be fun to try. This is lavender and mint flavor, the magic strips, dissolving teeth whitening strips. So we'll see how those work. Then we have Nakery Beauty Skin Restore Body and Hand Wash. It had a seal on it, so I can't smell it, but that will be fun to try. It's just fun to try new things. Unfortunately, I paid for them all. It's not like they're free, but it's still fun to try new things. Then we have Peach and Lily KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub with 10% AHA, PHA, and micro exfoliants. Obviously, this is going to be like your KP uh, Bump Eraser by uh, First Aid Beauty. Their Kopari also came out with a similar one. I have chicken skin on my thighs and then the back of my arms. Um, unfortunately, I'm not very good at consistently using these things because they have kind of a wretched smell. But... Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of change, but again, I'm not consistent with you. So maybe if I'd be more consistent, I would have better results. Then this one I'm excited to try. This is Chris Appleton and Color Wow Money for super glossy, expensive looking hair. So this is gonna be your hair mask. I'm excited to try this one. Then we have Goop Beauty. Himalayan salts, uh, scalp scrub shampoo. So this will be like uh, Christoph Robin, or Rodin, Christoph Rodin. I can't think of it right now, told you I'm sick. Uh, but I use that really consistently. I also use Waze uh, salt hair and um, body scrub. So it will be fun to try a new one, see if I like it any better. I do love both of those products, so gotta be a hard one to, hard one to beat we have grand cosmetics ground bro grand brow two-in-one tinted gel and brow enhancing serum in medium so this will be good I if you watch my channel you know I have my nasty habit of pulling on my eyebrows when I'm stressed so they're starting to get sparse or are sparse so it's always good to have brow serums to undo that damage we have 2020 Visionary Eyeshadow Stick in, what shade is this? Don't know that it's, it must say somewhere. I don't see where it says. But interesting shade. So that will be interesting to try. Looks more like a reddish brown tint, but who knows, might be great for me. Then we have Hourglass Unlocked Satin Cream Lipstick in shade Tropic. These are always hourglass products look so luxurious. Again, more of a brownish red brick tint. Which with the name Tropic is not what I expected couple more products for you. We got Biocornium Advanced Scar Treatment with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, scars tend to become more pigmented when exposed to uh, the sun. So 
you definitely want to make sure any kind of scars you have SPF on. So having a scar treatment for it would be excellent if you suffer from um, any hyperpigmentation or scarring. Then we have John Frieda Frizz E's Secret Weapon Touch-Up Cream, which I might try on Miss Gracie because she tends to have much more frizz in her hair than I do these days. La Roche-Posay Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment contains 1.5 salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and isimide. Honestly, when it comes to breakouts, benzoyl peroxide um, and, and glycolic work better for me than salicylic acid. Salicylic is just not strong enough for me, but um, I do get breakouts on my neck and my shoulders in the summer when you know your hair is always exposed to your skin. I tend to get breakouts, so this might be great for that. Two more products, again, another brow product. We got Brow Genius Brow Serum by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then last but not least, Liquid Lash Extensions, <laughs> oh my gosh, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara by Thrive Cosmetics. I've seen this all over Instagram. Um, it's in shade Brin, which is a rich black, uh, it really does look remarkable when I see it in Instagram reels or TikTok or TikTok shorts videos. We'll give it a whirl and see how good it is for sure. So again, this is all the products that I got in my new beauty, beauty awards winner uh, box. I will, uh, as I usually do with these unboxings, I will total how much each product costs individually. Uh, as well as link them for your convenience in the information section. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these products alone uh, for your convenience, the links will be there. Again, I'll total up how much it would have cost if I had bought all these products individually. Um, also a link to New Beauty, their Beauty Pass program, if you're also interested in joining. Neat thing too, uh, when you become a member of this Beauty Pass thing, every Friday they offer a free product if you sign up quick enough uh you just have to pay for shipping so sometimes sometimes you can get some really good deals most of the time it's products i've never even heard of i've gotten some pretty good gems that way too so uh little perk but anyway again this is Catherine cole i hope y'all are doing well i appreciate you all so much love you so much and i'll see you soon Bye bye